While the overnight severe threat has waned quite a bit, there are still some strong storms out there. Scattered rain throughout Greenville and Spartanburg, but look at to the southern upstate. Lawrence County seeing one thunderstorm, another very strong thunderstorm into Greenwood County now. It's all pushing slowly to the south and east of us. So even though we may see some of this linger for another hour or so here, uh, it really will start to push farther south. The cold front you can see is now coming along with this line of storms that trails back into central Georgia and Alabama. That's going to help to usher that severe weather threat into the Midlands today, leaving us with a few stray showers, but otherwise a clearing sky. Future cast shows this morning staying fairly active. Now here it is 7 a.m. You get to 9 a.m. and it starts to dry out. And while a few showers stay possible as the front continues to move south through about midday today, your afternoon dries out and we get some sun to break through these clouds. It will not be a perfect day, but it will be much improved compared to yesterday, last night and early this morning. Over the weekend, we're expecting to see a couple more clouds develop on Saturday, maybe some showers into the afternoon, but nothing major on Saturday. Most of the day will end up dry. Sunday, that's a different story. We're going to have another line of storms coming through as another front comes by, and this one could provide a couple strong storms in the mountains and then maybe one or two strong storms in the upstate. It shouldn't be a major outbreak, but we are under a slight risk for severe weather on Sunday, so we want you to stay aware. I know we're just getting through today's event, but Tonight into tomorrow look better. Sunday, it's going to ramp back up a little bit. The slight risk is about a two out of five on the risk scale. Fairly low, but still a day to watch for damaging wind, small hail, possibly even brief tornadoes. We are in severe weather season, and it's fairly normal for us to have a setup like this. Temperatures sit in the 50s and 60s right now. It's aiming for about 80 degrees in the upstate today. Incredibly warm for March. We'll continue watching that slow clearing and a strong breeze building. North Carolina. Clearing sky 74 degrees and a wind gust up to about 20 miles per hour. So like I mentioned, not a perfect day, but majorly improved. So we're going up to an 8 out of 10 on your sky meter. Now over the weekend, temperatures will get back to about the mid 70s. Again, showers tomorrow possible. Then Sunday with the storms, Sunday storms could be strong. So watch out for that. We'll be here to update you uh, on any alerts that come out. And then early next week, it cools off a bit. Plus, we'll see more sunshine Monday and Tuesday. 720 this morning. Let's get to your riding forecast sponsored by Harley. Davidson of Greenville. If you want to ride this weekend, make sure you ride with rain gear. You're going to have on and off showers Saturday and the storms Sunday. I would avoid riding Sunday if you can, considering there is a severe threat, just not great to be on the roads on an open motorcycle. The mountains. Also looking at a decent day Saturday, a couple showers, so pack rain gear if you do plan to ride, but it's not a bad day overall. Sunday, though, be cautious of the storms and park the bike if you don't have to be out there. 